um, Adele. She has officially filed for divorce from her husband um, for, I think, nearly after five months, five right, after they announced the split. Um, she filed on Thursday, September 12th, after more than seven years together. The former couple announced their separation in April 2019. Okay, mm. so I guess we, Another we, we saw album this coming. Is coming. <laughs> album that I will listen to and cry myself to sleep. Well, because of my boyfriend that I don't know yet, but mm. <laughs> I know that our next album is going to be lit, anyways. It's yeah. a sad story, but mm -hmm. it's okay if, if she thinks that, if they both think that they can't work together, because from what I read, sources close to them said that. They are still friends, mm -hmm. and they have plan of raising their son together, their son together in mm -hmm. a loving manner. Yeah, I think and it's just a case of their time, their work, their mm -hmm. preferences. You know, exactly, a lot of and into they play. feel like friendship will go longer than the than old the love and marriage thing. So it's okay for them. Mm -hmm. I wish both of them best of luck in everything. Um, concerning the marriage and child um, custody, we'll find out how that. Mm, I think they, they, I'm hoping that it will be first, first sale. It shouldn't mm. be dirty or yeah. saying, oh, you don't have a right to this child. I right. think they will both find a way to make it co work and co-parent in peace. Mm. I don't think we're going to see any custody drama, battle drama, any yeah. soon. And I hope so. they don't try to prove me wrong. But from I what we are really saying, hope right? So too. I because feel like the guys, the husband, our ex-husband is a cool guy, so mm -hmm. I don't think he's a trouble maker that wants all that drama too and i don't think she personally wants that drama for herself so like you said i hope they don't prove us wrong mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah um I, I just have um another problem with celebrity marriages because um if you are getting married to somebody and you believe in their vision their dream you should know that okay there's a certain level and standard they will get to because the reasons for their breakup is because she became bigger and bigger and bigger and the more she had world tours, they grew apart and all of that. But if you're going to marry a star, then know that you're getting married to a star. You don't really have to be all about the emotional. Oh, of course, you know this person will travel a lot. You know this person will be away for a long time. And especially when you're, in the, you're not in the same line of work where you get to travel with her most of the time or you get to be with her most of the time. Those things, because they say um, out of sight is out of mind and it leads to a lot of temptation. If my wife is away in different countries for about nine months, I'm not saying it's an excusable reason to cheat, but I'm saying that um, it's enough for anybody to feel left out and lonely and make wrong decisions. Not that they're making those wrong decisions because they are supposed to, but because this is the human mind and this is how it's controlled, out of sight is out of mind. So I don't know. I think we also need to focus on if you're getting married to somebody, even when you're getting married to them and they're not yet so big and you believe in their dream. So it just makes it look like celebrity marriages are like your partners did not see it coming that you will become a superstar, a world star, a global star. No, I think I think it's just a case of um, when you're already into it. You know, there's some things that you you cannot imagine out what it's going to look like until you get yourself into it. I'm sure they probably thought that is something that you know. Sometimes you don't even see your future clearly. She probably does not see herself this big by this time. They probably didn't plan that mm -hmm. all this will happen and all of that, and they're already into it. I, that's why I think the divorce is okay if at this point they see that things are not working well. Mm -hmm. I mean, the last time I read, or the last thing I read, or I don't know if we are reading from different sources, mm -hmm. but I don't think the fact that she's a star is the issue. Yeah. The right. issue was based on the fact that I think she wanted to stay more in London or so, because either London or America, because it felt like she she was able to be a normal human being there. It's mm. as regards to, I mean, I'm mixing it up now. I don't know if it's London or America, but one of the places was a case of if she's walking on the streets, everybody knows, and then she had more friends there. And this guy also is not just a regular guy. He's actually a very top known guy and mm. well known guy in his own right. You know, I feel like it's also nice to allow them try. I mean, you, you win some, you lose some, and the most important part of this conversation is that they remain friends, mm. and even the sources that are always the sources and talking <laughs> from this side are maintaining that side, there is yeah, no yeah, bad blood, no they bad are good. Blood, they it's friends. a decision they had to come to and say, okay, this is the best thing 
for us at the moment. She's still supporting him. He's still supporting her. They have something that's going to bind them together for the rest of their life. And that is the child they have together. And I'm glad that they're saying they're willing to co-parent together in love, mm. right? So I don't think this is a bitter breakup. I don't think it's a case of, oh, you shouldn't have done this or you had you made the wrong choices. Cheating wasn't even part of the reason, the... you know? So I think they understand each no other so well. cheating as part of the reason. I think they understand each other so well to know that, okay, at this point, let's just have that space to be able to test the waters if we want to and see no, what No, for happens, me, I right? mean, you don't even know what it is until you get yourself into yeah. it. That's mm -hmm. like, you don't, I, I can't imagine that, I don't know, but maybe um, Jay-Z didn't think that Beyonce would be this big as a when they got married mm -hmm. or whatever it is. I mean, we, we handle things... Di big yeah, together. we mm -hmm. handle things differently. Mm -hmm. you get? The way I would take um, the, a particular thing is not the way Ife would take it. Mm -hmm. So, if my, my own point is, until everything gets bitter. Mm -hmm. I'm happy that they discovered now that they are not going to work. And before it gets to that stage that both of them will get bitter at each other, is better that they split now. Mm -hmm. And I think they made, for me, I feel like this is I just I mean, they've the announced right it decision. already. This is just yeah. to formalize things, mm -hmm. and I think they need it. So I think they need it too. I'm good with them. I think this is a focus of fair on people not having goals and decisions and having future plans for where they're going to be because if you have goals and you have ambitions and you know that this is where I see myself in the next five years and you're in a relationship for eight years, I think those visions and accomplishments should be seen, should be things that you have already envisioned. So on that note, I think um, you need to know who you're getting involved with before you even get involved with them and believe in their dream, believe in their vision, and believe in their goals, accomplishments, and be there to be supportive regardless of what goes on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the uh, uh, first uh, yeah, right. Because this is not even a case of, oh, there is some bitterness or there's something. They are so cool with what they are doing. Like, that's, extraordinarily that's, that's cool. That's the thing. I don't think you're getting where I'm coming from. And, and I don't also, think I also not understand, in no, I also understand what you're saying. I mean, no, you I know people who believe that, that they have to do the five years projection, the ten years, you know where you're going. But I mean, I'm of the school of thought that life happens and I'll take it each day as it comes. Mm. It doesn't mean I'm not going to be open the minded. Fact that life to happens. See open I mean, you can even and it that, will work you know you so exactly I mean, but be aware of i don't the think so that when the plan works mm. it's not it doesn't come as a shock but when you have that mindset of it won't work every plan i have set for myself that i'm going to accomplish i will definitely accomplish it because i believe in myself i believe in my dreams i so, believe in my goals it's okay and but in this case or the context of the conversation hello, wait, hold up hold up i'm not talking that's about the because it's making now i am not talking about the context of the conversation but, hey, that's what you should now, have said that you want to take us out of the context because we are both talking about you are the one going Adele out of the context the husband, because but you are if going we out were talking about situation. real life situation of people then you also have to put in place the reality of life if well, the reality, if I, I feel like reality. the reality of life <laughs> is that two people get together and then just hope i mean it's not the future is not even certain you can only hope and try and if you think that at this point you can't go any further before you get bitter it's better you split that's why i think to be honest Good i don't problems. think that anybody wants to be with somebody and only if you're a bad person yeah there's some bad people you want to be with somebody i don't want to don't support to their shine. dream you don't want them to shy oh, exactly like it don't happen that's what I'm saying. Like, there's some bad people. You're a bad person if you think you're with somebody and you don't want that person to shine. Like, I mean, you're a bad person. Good stuff, Vince.